Okay, this is just a quick video of my little Python program. Um, in order to control this robotic arm, try and actually execute it. Let me think what I called it now. Um, config arm for some reason. Config underscore arm dot py. Okay, you didn't like that, so let's. Um, Let's just okay, cool. Um, so this is the robot arm control software. If you like um, making use of a library that's been publicised online, and I'll put a link to that library as well in the description. Um, so what I've done is I've just entered a menu system to begin with. Um, the the problem with this arm is it hasn't got servos, so it doesn't really know where it is in three D space. Um, they're just very simple DC motors with a worm gear, etc. Um, so one of the things I, I built into this was to be able to just put it into a home position. That way you've always got this consistent start, but it's a manual process. Um, and this is what option number one does. So it then just runs through each component and says, what do you want to do with it? So um, in order to align the base. Now, instead of me specifying rotate the base clockwise for a set amount of time, you know, for run the motor for two seconds clockwise and then run the motor for three seconds and clockwise, etc. I've just used positive and negative numbers. So if I put a positive number in, that will rotate the base clockwise and then a negative number anti-clockwise or counterclockwise. So I'm just going to, that looks like it's now, and this is a bit of a problem with this device as well. Looks like it's just ever so slightly not returned to where it came from. Okay, um, I have actually aligned it, so I'm just going to skip through these options. So the first one is to align the base, then it's the shoulder, elbow, wrist, and then finally to close the grips, which I can just close them ever so slightly. Uh, that's a negative for closing them. Right, okay. Um, so that's that, enter to skip, and that's the arm calibrated. Now, what I was going to do is sort of store those rudimentary values. So, for example, it takes 14 seconds to rotate the base from one extreme to the other. So if I said that the base started off at zero and I made several moves to, you know, adjust the base clockwise so it ended up on sort of a minus six position, it would be very rudimentary. You know, then I could just hit home and hopefully it would return to home. But the more I've used this robotic arm, the more I've realised, um, yeah, it's just unreliable in terms of returning to original positions, etc. Um, okay, so what I'm going to do is um, have a look at using R. Oh, when I first wrote this code, what I did was I, I did it so that it was a bit more sort of interactive, so you could sort of press 1 for the LED, and then you've got to decide if it's on or off. So enter a positive or negative number, so one for on, that turns the LED on. Oh, didn't like that. Okay, so that's sort of a bit legacy, if you like. Um, so I don't really use the interactive menu. The main thing is this, this one, number four, where you can just type in instructions. So they're really simple. If I just type in help here, um, it gives you what you need to do. So, for example, if you want to move the shoulder up for three seconds you type s3 if you wanted to move the shoulder down for three seconds you type s minus three so um i'm going to try and pick up that red screwdriver top i take an actual screwdriver out because it's just too heavy this thing really can't carry much weight so let's have a look at rotating that base first of all so if i do a b three seconds Okay, I'm not sat too close to that workbench, really. I'm, I'm at the sort of at the computer, but um, I can roughly see it ish. Okay, let's um, do the shoulder for one second. It's the shoulder that has the most difficulty. I'm just going to lower the elbow. So that's an E minus five command. Probably need a little bit more. Now, one development, oh, that is quite a lot more. I'm going to miss it. Good. 
one development I'd like to make is um, to consolidate those commands. So when I've done an E minus five and an E minus four, consolidate it into an E minus nine on the instruction list, um, which we'll play back in a second. Um, but I, I again imagine that they're not equivalent really. Um, right, so let's just do the base, what, 0.5? Have to go and have a look at it and see. No, nope, gone too far, so let's do the base minus 0.2. Okay, that seems to be a bit more in a line. Let's open those grips, so G1. Okay, need to move it forward, so I think what I'm going to do is raise the wrist up, move the shoulder forward by a fraction. Okay, cool. Move the elbow up, ooh, I don't know, 0.5. Being very cautious here. Um, move the shoulder forward by a fraction. Now when it replays, the good thing is, um, elbow, mm, 0.5. It's, it's relatively quick, it's not as tedious as actually setting it up. Minus 0.5. Oh, okay. Elbow, 0 0.5. Oh, great. Okay. Um, I'm going to close the grips now. I'm not sure. You can sort of end up not doing the grips any good. So I might just go for a minus 0 0.5 just to see. Minus 0 0.5. Has that published it or was I too cautious? No, I've got a little bit more jiggle space. So let's go for a G minus 0.3. Okay, that looks like it scrubbed it. I could test that out with just raising the elbow 0.5. Yeah, great stuff. Um, so the arm, the shoulder, joint can't really lift the weight of its own arm so um, you have to really raise the elbow all the way up to to get the shoulder really working um, in fact we'll do that we'll just go elbow four okay base I'm going to rotate it round now oh I didn't want to do minus six so let's do the base minus 0.54 no 5.4 okay um, and then I'm going to lower the elbow minus not point uh, minus minus three okay let's push the shoulder out so shoulder minus one. Oh, look at that Okay, and then grips um, 0.5. Oh, great. Okay, and um, let's let's raise the elbow now. Elbow. Let's go for ten. Push the boat out. The reason I'm doing that is to put more weight behind it. So when I raise the shoulder in a second, so shoulder one, it can do it type thing. Let's just get the base back to how it was. Um, shoulder 0.5, it's going to be a lot quicker now. And then elbow minus four. Um, we could probably do a little bit more on that shoulder. A bit more than that, uh, 0.3. Okay, and then the elbow minus 0.3. Cool, and then the wrist minus 1. Looks where it started off, and then the grips minus 1. That's where the grips can go a bit pear shaped. Let me just test that is okay. Oh yeah, that's all right. So grips minus 0.4 actually. Yeah, they um, if they clench too tight, and then really the LED on and off. There we go. Right, that's it complete. Um, so to end entering instructions, you just hit enter. 
Okay, then it comes up with a list of instructions you've sent to it in that format. So, you know, you can read it and say, oh, the base is rotated clockwise three, etc. Would you like to save the instructions to the file? Do not press enter if you want to, um, because it just, if it then just, you know, clears the array. So I've hit EY. Uh, what do I want to call the file name? It saves it in a directory. I can't remember. I think it's arm hyphen commands. Um, so screwdriver. That'll do dot txt. It's just a text file. Okay. 37 instructions written. Um, and then it takes you back to the menu. What we're going to do now is open and execute those same instructions. I'm just going to reset the stage. I think that's how the obstacle course was. Um, and this time we're going to go to open and execute commands from a file. Uh, it gives you a bit of information there, but you just type in the file name, call it screwdriver.txt, and reads it, tells you there's 37 instructions. Do you want to execute them? I'm going to hit yes and enter. Let's see it make a mess of this now. Yeah. Well, those grips didn't open. That's 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 not good. <laughs> now, if you remember, I I programmed it back to go to its start position. Let's see how well it sort of gets close to that as well. Yeah, no, not really at all. Hence the um, calibration. So let's just recalibrate. Um, so what do I want to do? I want to move the shoulder. Well, I'm going to have to, yeah, it's not, it's not going to be able to move the shoulder whilst it's like that. Um, let's see. No, it doesn't like that. I'm going to have to give it a little help in hand with its own weight. There we go. Beautifully done. Okay. Um, what I'm going to do, minus 0 0.5. I don't know. Is that too much? No. Minus 0 0.3. Oh, I didn't like that. Well, you'd think it'd be all right with that. Um, okay, I'm just going to skip the rest of that. And the reason being, I just want to go and just try and open those grips. So let's do those grips one. No, didn't like that at all. So the grips are a bit stuck. I don't really know what the te tactic is, the technique for unsticking the grips, because once they get sort of stuck like that, Seems the only technique is to sort of snap them off, which can't be good. Can't be healthy. Let's just try that one more time. No. Okay. Um, hmm. Could could. Use the screwdriver. Just loosen them up ever so slightly. Oh, I mean, I think I did this before, but there's no sort of hard and fast way of doing this, to be honest. Okay, well, I don't know if loosening it helped with that. I mean, either way you hear that snap, it's not, it doesn't sound healthy, does it? But for a three pound robot device, robotic arm, I'm pretty pleased with what I've got to, 
tinker around with here. Yeah, that, that is really loose. Am I snapped a thing off the cogs? No. I don't know what I've done there, but okay. So um, ooh, let's reset this obstacle course. Better stick the lid back on. I mean, I say the lid, it's just a bit of plastic, but every little gram probably makes a difference. Um, okay, so you know what? That's, that's more or less in its starting position. I'm happy with that. So let's try and run that program one more time. I'm just going to skip this. I don't want to save those instructions. So, file, I'm going to open and execute the file called screwdriver. TXT. I might go and supervise as well actually. 37 instructions, yes. Um, yeah, let's walk over and see if it needs a helping hand. It's going to be quick. got it I mean to be honest I don't know if I needed to push it or not but it's picked it up will it place it back down or did I just I suspect I got lucky with it the first time oh no never mind Oh, have I messed the grips up at the end there? Um, and so there we go, that's that's it working. Um, so you can type in those commands. It's a lot easier to do that um, than having to decide component, the action, and then the time, just component and time as a, as a positive or negative. Um, yeah, uh, there's, not, there's not much else to it, really. Um, I'm just going to exit there. Oh, it's going to be a work in progress, obviously. I mean, this is so the first bit of coding I did tinkering about and I've just put it straight up on github and I thought well while I'm doing a uh, uh, a quick demo of it I might as well record it um, stick it up on YouTube maybe somebody out there will find it useful uh, as I do with many of the things I come across on YouTube okay I'm just gonna exit and that's it goodbye